So we had sweet, sweet clad focusing. So we have that sweet, sweet cladogram. And I'm going to show you guys how to make the super duper flip over tab. So we can flip up this tab. We can still see our cladogram. We can take notes while we do our lab, looking at the diversity of animal life. But oh no, you say, this is not enough room. Well, watch this. We have more room hidden in here. Oh, now we have all this room. You could write nice sketches. You got all your characteristics on your tabs. So it should be uh, really remarkable and wonderful. Before we get too crazy in here, I just want to show you guys how this works. This tab here is full part, folds under like that, and then this part folds over. So we're looking at it from the other side, if it's totally unfolded and super extended out, we've got one fold here, where it kind of makes a little pocket, and then this part can just get folded under like that. Don't worry if you're still not getting it, give the video a shot. So you have your cladogram, and uh, it's probably not this ugly because this was the last one in the snappy box. But effectively what we're going to do is we're going to take this bad boy and we're going to put it over top of it. Now you'll notice you have a fresh one, has all your phyla all laid out, and the line should hopefully line up unless uh, it's crooked, which is also definitely crooked, so <laughs> it's going to be real fun. Now I found it's easiest to do the accordion fold last. See how this one has a nice accordion fold separating each of the phyla? That's really nice because then when it's flipped up, right, you've got nice lines where you can, uh, you know, just, it makes it visually appealing so you can see that periphery goes with periphery. So, to do this, you're going to start with yours. It's just fresh. And the a lot of paper shuffling. And the first fold you're going to do, you're going to take this bad boy, you leave this alone because that's where we're going to glue. You're going to take your new one, and just, you're going to fold it in half. So you take the new one, fold it exactly in half, give it a nice crease roomy, see? And so it could slip over real nice like that. You glue it down, flop it up, but that's not going to be enough room when we are doing our lab. So to make the extendo tab, this is where it gets a little bit more exciting. So we've got our cladogram. We've got our new paper that we just folded in half. This part where it says glue here. We want to fold it in half so that the part that says glue here comes up. So we fold it in half. We take this part that we just folded, not the whole thing, just the part that we folded. We're going to fold that back in half, almost like we're making a nice, beautiful accordion. So now that we have our accordion, right, we've got it half, half, go ahead and unfold your accordion. And then we're going to take the ridge fold we just made, we're going to take it straight to here. So effectively we're going to fold this part in the middle here in half. So you're going to take the fold you just made, take it to the fold we made before, and then crease it so we can still see that glue here. Alright, so we got one more thing to do before we put the glue here where it says glue here. We're just going to take our little friend, the cladogram super over tab. We're just going to fold it halfway between each of the phylum names and make a little accordion. So I'm going to take it. You may want to smooth your folds out a little bit because it's going to get fun. We're just going to fold it over. See there's a kind of dermata, there's chordata, about halfway like that. Blap folded. Then flip and make an equal fold. This is called the accordion fold because we're just going to flip and back and flip and forth. And if you do them all the same size, see I'm keeping it the same size. Flip and back and flip and forth. As long as you're keeping it all the same size about as that initial fold, we should get exactly evenly in between our nine phyla. Because there are nine phyla, but you'll notice we just made eight folds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, counting. Then 
flatten it out, flatten it out. Those lines are just for divisions. So go ahead and rub it on your desk if you need to. Flatten it out. Flatten it out. Then go ahead and fold back up your little valley tab in the middle there. Then you'll put your glue here. Wee! Glue is my favorite kind of glue. It gets on the paper and it makes it glued. It's going to glue that tab right on the edge of your paper. See how it's going on there? Real good and definitely not all crooked and crappy like I'm doing, but you're going to do a good job because you guys care about that. And then you can just fold down that first fold. And if you didn't glue it like an insane person, <laughs> these lines here should line up. Mine clearly don't. 